Hi! In this GroupWise 2012 What's New video, I'm going to show you how to use the new features of the multi-user calendar. The multi-user calendar is a useful tool that allows you to see schedules for users in a day, week, month, or multi-user column view. This calendar allows you to make appointments for all of its users simultaneously, and you can have multiple multi-user calendars for accessing different groups of users. Before we talk about new features, I'll quickly review the standard calendar views. In the Day view, Appointments, Notes, and Tasks are shown by default. The Week view shows a column for each day of the week. In this view, you can choose to show or hide notes and tasks by clicking the icons in the upper right corner of the calendar. In the Month view, Appointments, Tasks, and Notes are all displayed on each day of the month. Appointments begin with a time, notes are shown with a bullet, and tasks are shown with a checkbox. Now, let's return to the day view to explore the new features of the multi-user calendar. In this example, I'll use the account of George Smith, who's been placed on a new product team. I want to use multi-user calendaring to quickly compare calendars with other team members. But please note, you need to have proxy rights to be able to access another user's calendar through multi-user calendaring. To begin the process, I click Multi-User Columns, select the names of my teammates from the list, in this case, myself, George, Marie, and Xander, then click OK. A multi-user calendar appears under the main calendar at the left. The Multi-User Column view provides a column that shows the appointments for each user I added. Using the color coding capabilities of the GroupWise calendar is essential to using the other multi-user calendar views effectively. For instance, if I click the day view, I can see the appointments for my teammates, but which ones belong to which person? To make my teammates' appointments easily identifiable, I can color code each person by clicking the user icon next to their name in the multi-user calendar area and selecting a color. I repeat the process for subsequent users, selecting a different color for each one. Now I can easily identify which appointments, tasks, and notes belong to which person. If I look at the multi-user calendar in the week view, I see that I can turn tasks and notes on and off as needed. All of my team members' appointments also show up in the month view. Multi-user calendars also offer another advantage by allowing me to easily schedule appointments for multiple users simultaneously. When I'm in the multi-user column view, I can drag across columns to select recipients. If I want to create an appointment for all three of these team members, I drag across their columns, right-click, and select New, Appointment. The names of the selected users are automatically added in the To list. This method works for all users or a subset of users located next to each other in the calendar. In views where users are listed together, like the Day view, I can create an appointment by simply right-clicking the time and selecting New and Appointment. Once again, all three of the users in the multi-user calendar are automatically added to the to list. GroupWise 2012 also allows me to include other users' appointments when I view my own calendar. To do this, I select my calendar from the window on the left. When I look at the day view, I can see my own appointments, and if I look at the window to the left, the multi-user calendar is deselected by default. If I click the checkbox next to the multi-user calendar, the other user's appointments display along with my own. I can select individual users from this list to display only the appointments that I want to see in my calendar. By creating a new calendar, I can also have more than one multi-user calendar at a time. I'll start in the day view. I right-click the existing multi-user calendar, then select Rename. I rename the calendar from the default name to a new name, Daedalus Team so that I can distinguish it from the one I'm about to create. My renamed calendar appears. To make a new multi-user calendar, I right-click on the main calendar, then click New Calendar. This new calendar also needs a name, in this case, Marketing Team. 
When I select the new calendar, I now have the option to create a whole new set of multi-user columns by clicking the button in the corner and choosing a new set of teammates to include in this calendar. In this case, Lori Tanaka and Xander Dominguez. After that's done, I click OK. And I now have a second multi-user calendar called Marketing Team available from the window on the left. I can repeat these steps to create as many of these calendars as I need. When using multi-user calendars, remember, when you first define the multi-user columns view, it creates a sub-calendar named multi-user. A multi-user calendar can be displayed in the day, week, and month views. You can easily create appointments for all users in a multi-user calendar. And you can have multiple multi-user calendars. GroupWise 2012 emphasizes collaboration and it has the features you need to keep your calendar and your team organized. To learn more about Novell products or to access in-depth documentation for GroupWise, please visit novell.com documentation. Thanks for watching.